now is Taylor Kennerup, Communications Director for the Maricopa County Recorder's Office. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Um, as you get ready for Election Day, what are you expecting in terms of voter turnout in your county? So in 2020, we saw 2.1 million ballots cast by Arizona voters. Right now, we currently have roughly 2.4 million voters registered in Maricopa County. And additionally, 1.9 of them are on our active early voting list, meaning they'll receive a ballot in the mail. So we are expecting a relative, relatively high turnout, especially following our July primary, which had a little bit of a lower turnout here. What do you want voters to know ahead of Election Day? And are you recommending early voting and, and mail-in voting? Yes. So when it comes to early voting, we are expecting um, quite a turnout. Early voting begins about 27 days prior to Election Day here in Arizona. Um, and so we are anticipating quite a few ballots uh, turned out in that time frame, a large majority, roughly about 80 percent of our ballots cast in any election are via early ballot. What about uh, new voters, uh, new registrations that you all are seeing? We hear a lot of engagement among young voters right now, a lot of Latino voters also eligible to vote. Um, what have you seen in terms of those numbers? Well, we don't break down by demographic necessarily, but we are seeing um, what we call a seasonal uptick in voter registrations. We see a gradual increase of voter registrations come in any given election year, but this year especially. So we are seeing that. And uh, earlier this year when we began, we were at roughly 2.3 million registered voters. We're now at 2.4, getting much closer to 2.5 by Election Day. And at what point did you see that jump? Was it after Biden dropped out of the race? Was it after the Trump assassination? Anything you can correlate to news events on the campaign trail? So there's always a little bit of a delay in voter registrations. We often get registrations from third party organizations. Those have five days to return those. We see just a little bit of a delay in those upticks. So there's not a sp specific event to tie those to, but we do see that gradually happening over time. It's been slow but steady. There hasn't been necessarily one or two weeks where we see a significant spike, but definitely a gradual increase. We hope, Taylor, there are no hiccups this election day and that everything goes smoothly but I know you all plan for a lot of different contingencies. What are some of the preparations being put into motion to meet the challenges um, that arise during Election Day? Absolutely. And so the especially uh, different thing for voters in Maricopa County to keep in mind this time around is we are expecting a two-page ballot. That two-page ballot is just something different that voters haven't seen in almost 20 years in Maricopa County. So reminding voters to send us back both. Uh, we will tabulate whatever ballots get sent back to us as long as we can verify their signature on those mail ballots. But that's going to be something that's going to take exceptionally longer to tabulate than anticipated. Uh, and especially because our ballot has quite a few contests, hence the two pages. So we're expecting an average of 79 contests on each ballot that a Maricopa County voter might receive. So lots of preparation there. We're really helping other smaller counties in our state try to work through that ballot processing uh, with two ballots. We're anticipating quite a few different things, but luckily we have incredible resources, incredible relationships with the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office and other departments around the county in which we feel confident we're ready for Election Day. All right, here we go. Uh, and the countdown begins. Uh, Taylor Kinnerup, uh, thank you so much from uh, the Maricopa County Recorder's Office. Um, best of luck as we get closer to Election Day. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.